Oh, what's up? It's Day Day here with another gameplay, and man, is this one going to be magnificent. Let me pause that for a second. This is going to be my first ever like live com like this where I'm going to break down what I did right and what I think I did wrong. So this is probably going to be a very long video, so go ahead and buckle up, sit down. I don't know why you buckled up before you sat down, but you get my point. Get comfy. Let's get into it. This is a solo duos. And it's a tasty one, if I say so myself. I immediately drop in over at Superstore, uh, the top left, or, you know, the, the, this side of the building. Uh, typically, I go to the opposite side on the top roof, but this one I didn't. Uh, pick up a quick two-piece. Um... I downed the first guy, and I started to finish him, but then I heard his teammate running. I was like, wait a minute. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Let's wait before we thirst. And it paid off. Um, next thing I want to do is uh, just, you know, grab me a secondary. I could hear some action. Some people were doing some stuff, and then I see in the, in the, in the mini mini map that they're actually shooting. So, make quick work to get over there. Unfortunately, I'm... Unable to get a kill from one of them. Uh, obviously, I can see that there were uh, another. There was another team right there. I knew that going into it, uh, so I wait for this guy to peek. He's just lost. Uh, wait a second, just to ensure this. This is the key point. When you're playing solo duos, solo quads, trios, whatever. Uh, it is imperative that once you down someone, you don't immediately try and go for the thirst, especially if you know that someone else is there. Like. It's an instinct to try and go ahead and finish them off so you can get the kill. But the best thing to do is to actually wait, and if they're, especially if their opponent is around. So this way you take that extra time to throw a plate in and reload. So this way you ensure that you have your stuff ready to go for the next fight. Uh, I didn't I didn't plate up because I didn't have any plates, but I did pop around and just go ahead and get that kill. Um, I couldn't hear if they were actually doing, uh, if he was actually resing, but I, I assumed that he thought that I ran away, and it would be a safe bet, so that's why I did a slow peek. Uh, right here, I'm just just doing some, some quick looting. Uh, I'm almost certain at this point, I remember playing this game, uh, that there wasn't going to be many more teams. Usually in duos, there's, there's not many teams that go here. Maybe three, four teams. It's not like it used to be. Uh, you know, Superstore used to be, like, just constant going on and on and on. And it's just not that case anymore. Um, so now I'm just going to finish looting up the store. Uh, and I'm almost certain that there's no one else that is in here. So I went ahead and skipped ahead a little bit because I, I, I don't want it to be, you know, the longest video on the planet. But uh, I'm getting really close. I've got my money from my loadout. I'm excited. And, I like, I see this MAC-10, and, like, I remember this vividly. I was sitting there going, man, I don't want to have to give up this. I just put stopping power rounds in it. And, like, they come around a corner, and I just I just two-piece them. Uh, it, it just worked out perfect. I was pretty excited about that. I was like, ah, now I don't have to worry about wasting stopping power rounds. So that one I was pretty happy about because everybody knows uh, – that I'm easy. pretty sure it's a Mac 10 variant, but regardless, it's definitely definitely a better gun than the Bison, uh, at least by most standards. Uh, I'm, per I'm pretty sure there's some people out there who's like, no, nah, man, the Bison, it rocks. Uh, yeah, it does, but it's nowhere near what it should be. And then all I'm doing at this point is I'm like, well, I'm $800 shy of a UAV and getting a loadout, which is what I love to have that combination. So I immediately purchase the UAV, throw it up. So this way I could see if anyone is near me, and then I immediately grab that loadout and I chunk it, and I get it ready to go. So, I mean, I've got everything that I need, except for $300. So that's all that's going on right here, and I'm just trying to find $300 more, because uh, I've got I've got my dead silence, I'm fully loaded on ammo, and I've got the money. So now I just, I just want to have that UAV that look up. So I can also see where I'm going to go next. But unfortunately, I do waste way too much time here, so... What I should have done immediately is, is just say, you know what, forget it, and got my loadout because I kill 
and, and I'll leave in this in just so y'all can see like if you're going for a high kill game this is a lot of time that I wasted and this is a mistake I need y'all to see the mistakes I need to realize the mistake when I was looking back at this video uh, I was like man this is horrible and this is during the time of the DMR and MAC-10 I do believe this is a, this is a couple weeks old um, uh, no no it's not I am wrong so I'm using the, in, uh, the AMAX so so the next thing I do is I grab a bounty because now it's time to start chasing some kills I'm already sitting six deep uh, again I wasted too much time uh, in, in the Superstore and I'm, I really I really beat myself up for that later on I have still beat myself up for that because this is my new PR this is uh, well at the time this is my new PR for my personal record you know uh, so this guy shoots me and I'm like alright I got a plate up I know he's gonna be pushing me I'm almost a hundred percent positive on this and I realize he's not he's not pushing me at all so uh, and then I realize the guy on the is shooting at me so I make quick work to, to crack him uh, I can pretty much guarantee he's gonna leave I see the sniper off in the left over at Superstore I don't know if you saw that glint or not uh, it, playing this game there's so much random crap that happens you just have to constantly be paying attention and that's what I've learned so there's there's the people that I sniped and, and let's not judge my shots on this um, and not only do I get my new personal record, Bullshit. but I die early in this game. I think I was sitting at six. I'm pretty sure I was, yeah, six, uh, seven kills because I had six kills before I saw the guy in dealership. So this is also going to show me making a comeback. And pistols should be in the gulag only. Like, I don't understand why we put automatics in there. Uh, the, the biggest tip that I can give you for the gulag is just immediately start shoot like blind like not want to say blind fire but shoot as soon as you're coming around a corner you know what i'm saying pre-fire that's the word i'm looking for pre-fire it to me it pays off more than it does you know what i'm saying because so, the first person to get those shots on is going to win so um my immediate decision here was i'm gonna pause that for a second do i want to get the new loadout or do i want to go get uh my old stuff and then work my way to the new loadout and I'm like, I'm almost certain that there's people here. And as I was dropping, I saw some gunfire. Like you, you could see the bullets going across the the map. And I was like, okay, well, there's definitely none inside. So I'll be good to go to get in there. And as I'm dropping, you could see immediately, to right, right below me, there's people underneath me. So I got to waste no time. I got to go in here. I got to get my stuff. And I'm not expecting that this sniper is going to be there. And he just gets on. And that's actually the guy that killed me. See, actually, it's the sniper that killed me. So, that made me feel really dope. You know, really excited. The fact that I came back and got my revenge. For some odd reason, I just took too long looting here. I don't usually like taking all this time to loot. Uh, it, it just, it's, a, it's a huge downfall. Like, you're just spending way too much time. And I know there's people around me. So, honestly, this could have went south pretty pretty quick and I'm, I'm lucky that it didn't um this is a nice little spot in case you know about like always be trying to find spots to use for an event because especially since skill based matchmaking is, is so ramped up in here um i down that guy and i'm expecting him to go underneath but he doesn't so and, and that's there's more of his body being exposed than there is of mine so that's just basic gun fighting skills in video games you know what I mean and that's what I did I took advantage of that uh, I could hear that there's an enemy dropping in the AO at this point uh, so I'm like I'm, I'm looking for him I know he's gonna be on the roof and then shortly after I hear him because I can't hear the game right now I'm just going off of memory uh, I can hear him get lit up and I know where that's coming from it's coming from red roof and sure enough I can see him and the kill cam actually makes me laugh on this one I don't know if you guys are able to hear it. I, I don't think I figured out how to capture uh, people's rage cam at this point in time, but I now have figured it out. Uh, but he was so mad, he was like, I was running the wrong way, and I just I didn't know. So, it's good times. He's got one more teammate up there. And the reason I thirsted that one is because I don't want him to get res. 
So that there's kind of exceptions to the rule when I said earlier, don't always thirst immediately. If they're further away like that, you definitely want to make sure that you thirst if you can. Just don't keep yourself exposed. So where I was standing, it would have been really hard for them to shoot me. But if like I was sitting out and to my right where I'm currently sitting, like if I was going off to the right, I wouldn't necessarily probably thirst it if I was losing plates. I would I would switch weapons uh, so I could get out of there faster. Uh, and that's another thing. Like if you're shooting and your gun, you got to reload. Uh, I don't. I see a lot of people that I play with don't do this so I've, I've i've learned this myself instead of reloading and trying to bounce get out of the way just switch your weapon right even if it's going from a secondary to a primary you're going to be faster at maneuvering getting away and then when you get behind cover that's when you can switch back reload and then plate up because if you're trying to maneuver while you're plating up it's just not it's not going to work out um so the next thing i want to do is i know that he's on the red roof so I push forward to this roof, and I'm fully expecting him to be up there looking at me, but I see that he's not there, and I see that someone's been bought back, and I'm assuming that it's the people that I just killed. I'm assuming it's them. It turns out it was. Uh, he just drops in and immediately gets <laughs> green. And my advice for that, if you are that guy, this guy is so fucking pissed. don't, and then there's his, his teammate, just completely lost so we're gonna pause right there for a second because I got a couple things I got to tell you on that right so if you're if you're coming back in and your buddy just bought you back right a you don't want to be hovering in the air like he did he pulled his shoot way too soon uh, he could have waited just like maybe a second or two later and pulled it then and then he's like pretty much immediately touching the ground and could have been on, you get a land right on the, 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 the tip of it. And depending on where he started getting shot from, just go to the opposite side. His teammate had no idea where I was at. So that means that when I killed the guy that got bought back, he didn't even look at the kill cam. And that's a, that's a big thing because if he looked at the kill cam, he could have immediately been like, oh, dude, he's, he's on top of the green roof. Because whenever you if we go back and... Watch this. It's so fucking pissed. He's looking as if I'm right there. Like you can see him pull out his heartbeat sensor, and that that's that's a flaw on his teammate that he bought back. He should have told him like, "Hey man, he's on top of the roof behind me." So he has an idea of where I was at. So he could have he could have stayed at the corner and pre-aimed, or or just not took that fight. That would have been a good fight to take anyways. And that's another key component <laughs> is realizing what fight is for you to take and what's for you just to move forward. So, uh, I kind of cut a little, little too much on this one. I, could, I saw this engagement going down. Uh, it was I thought it was my bounty, but it wasn't. Um, and I, as I was going up to this uh, building, I could hear them selfing. Or not selfing, but uh, utilizing it. Uh, and I think the guy was selfing, and then his teammate tried to tap him. And the second that he started to tap him is when I popped out that door. And I got him. I do know there's another team around here. Uh, it turns out they're on Virgin. You'll see that in a second. Uh, listen, let's have a talk. I understand there's some people who want to camp. I, for one, don't understand how that is fun. Because when I get killed by a camper, like, I'm, I'm, I'm sure I'm sure you guys do, right? You look and you see how many kills I got. Because you, you spec them for a second. Because you're just like, oh, what? And they've got like two kills. I find that a problem. Like, your method's not working. Why are you using it? And that's the truth. Like, you're not going to get better at the game if you just sit on the roof. And and those guys definitely were just sitting on roofs. They're going to sit there until the very last second and get pushed off. And you're just not putting yourself in any kind of engagements. Um, and they even take shots at me when, I, when I'm, like, all the way out here, which just blows my mind. Okay, uh, so in this part, we're pushed to the blue building over at TV Station. Excuse me. I could see that this guy was immediately just clueless, just searching. Uh, and I'd shot at his teammate uh, before this. But that was cut just because there was, there, was, there was nothing going on there other than that. The biggest thing that I could tell you for that is I immediately saw him. So I go around the corner and then I turn and I just jump around the corner doing the bunny hop, the bee hop. That movement like that is what helps. Um, so... 
I get I get lucky on, on this play right here. I assume he's standing like right there and not necessarily where he's at. And you can see that he's in the stall. He's in there taking it taking the down. Good play on him to take a situation where he knows that I could slide cancel around a corner and I'm going to see him before he sees me because that's just how latency works. Um, and he put himself in a position where it was, A, I wasn't going to know where he was at, and then B, he kind of was half exposed, not fully exposed. If he'd just been sitting in that room when I come slide around that corner, aim assist is going to kick in and I'm immediately going to get him. But aim assist, the way it works on this game, is there's a lot of things that block and stop you from having aim assist because you're still battling with that. So good, good play on that guy. So now we're up to 18 kills. Uh, I'm feeling it. I definitely am feeling it. Uh, I know that there's another team where I have that feeling, that vibe, and I know you guys know what I'm talking about, where there's someone here, and I'm just like, I, I just don't know where they could potentially be. And I'm, right now, what I'm considering is, okay, if I throw it here, can I grab it through this roof because I don't want to expose myself and I'm almost certain that I can and it turns out that I can uh, I didn't know how like thick that roof was because I don't I don't go into the blue bone very much uh, or at least don't pay attention to it that much I'm just there to kill people so again I'm almost certain that there's someone else here uh, I cut a little bit out because we're up there and this guy legitimately just scares me 120% I, I, I jump if, if I was, if my webcam was on when I was recording this, you'd have seen me jump out of my pants. So, uh, he was, his flaw right there was he was heartbeating the entire time. You don't need to heartbeat all the time. If you know that someone is in this building, learn the patterns of typically where they're at so you can put the heartbeat down. If I was him, I would assume that I was up at the very top on the roof, uh, but I wouldn't let my guard down completely, and I would keep that heartbeat sensor away, and I would clear as I was going up. But he kept staring at the heartbeat sensor. The heartbeat sensor is not going to tell you where the elevation is, like how they're above you or below you like a UAV does. Like, I did not expect that guy to be there. He was ghosted just camping because there's a whole other team up above me. So I got, I legitimately got lucky on that. And again, that comes down to, we're just going to pause this for a second. That comes down to latency. He's aiming down sights, right? Expecting to have the jump, and he should, but the, the connection prevents him to see the change immediately when it happens, whereas I'm used to, and this is just, this is just uh, like a science, right? But I'm seeing change constantly because I'm moving. He's not. So he's not going to adapt to it as quick as I am. And it's literally a millisecond that gets him killed. Uh, continue on. I know these guys are above me. Uh, my dead silence is right now. I assume that he's in this building. Or not the building, but uh, in, in this uh, this room. And I was wrong. So I'm like, okay, well, they're on the roof. Again, going back to patterns. I was like, they're on the roof. Um, so I just chunked that up there. See, I got. I know he's right there. C four's back, baby. I throw it up there. I throw it again, and wasn't expected. But his teammate was sitting in the other corner, so I got a two piece, extra crispy, with a soda on the side. So, I was pretty excited about that. I got these two guys watching me, uh, and they were they were livid. I'll tell you that. I definitely just messed up on that cut, so just pretend you didn't see it. All right, so that's after I fought those two guys. I'm off the roof. I was doing a little bit of look around just to make sure. And I jump on this rover and immediately start taking shots. As soon as I jump out, I immediately switch weapons. I realized, like, when I got in the vehicle before getting that engagement that I hadn't switched weapons. So as soon as I came out of that vehicle, I switched weapons. So this way I would have, well, my AK, I mean my AMAX. I usually drive the vehicle with my submachine gun, like I'm sure most of y'all do. So I knew when I jumped out, he had his AR. He's already beaming me. The only way I'm going to win this is if I switch to my AR. He should have beat me. He just didn't land his shots. Sometimes you get lucky. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. He should have beat me easy as day, but he didn't. Uh, then I played up, and I come in here, and his teammate comes running through the door. I'm not even expecting it, and I just beam him. Uh, I just lock onto his head. 
which is something I've been working on is as I start shooting to, to, to aim up and move to headshots uh, because oh, headshots shit, are definitely dude. king in this game. And then, so we move over here to this building. I know that there's a team in here fighting. I've seen them on the mini map. So I, I, I pop my dead sons to go around. I catch this guy off guard. Hit him with the B hop. Uh, easy, easy one, two, three. Take him out. That MAC 10 is just, just ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so I'm, I'm going to maneuver around to the other side. And this throws me off right here. This guy is sitting. I didn't even know you could get in there, but he's sitting in there and that throws me off 120% for like a split second. I'm just like, huh? So, uh, I started lighting him up. I'm not expect. I, I checked the corner to see if his teammate's there, but his teammate had popped down. Watch that damn and then that bitches, was the game. So, what I should have learned from that, that's my biggest kills, mistake, let's... is I should have chunked C4 in there. Could have done it that way. I could have just sat back and waited until he rezzed. And as soon as he rezzed, because he could assume the people in his last circle have self res And as soon as he rezzed, I could have shot him and he would have just died immediately. Um, but that is my 26 kill game. It is definitely my record. If you stuck around this long, I want to ask you, please go ahead and hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. We're on a road to 1,000 subs. You guys have been helping me out a lot. Also, I stream pretty frequently. I wish I'd give you a consistent schedule. My job prevents me to have a constant, consistent schedule. Um, so just follow me over at twitch.tv forward slash daydays stream play. So this way you can be notified when I go live. Also, follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. Daydays Gameplay. And I will see you guys next time.